Shalom. Kahala Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rachakodash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who continue to rule well and guide us through the Spirit. And peace and blessings, Shalom, to the Most High's elect across the four winds of the earth. This is Brother Yagada Alaman from GMS Houston. And I uh, had a few verses out of uh, Romans chapter 8 I wanted to go into uh, based off a discussion that was uh, briefly had with a brother. Uh, concerning the fact that the the world once you start on that mission or that path of being a righteous man, the world is instantly trying to pull you back in, all right, and get you to submit to your submit to your flesh, man. Okay, so it's a constant battle, uh, uh right out the gate, man. Okay, that continues on, all right, and it's all about the men who's gonna persevere, all right, and endure until the end. Okay, so I just want to go into these verses real quick through the Spirit, Lord willing, they be edifying to the Most High's elect. This is uh, Romans chapter 8 and starting at verse 5. It says, for, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. Okay, and that's that's the, uh, that's the, the two sides. All right, there's no middle. All right, there's no in between. It's either you are fulfilling the will of the flesh, or you operating in the spirit, man. All right, and your uh, your conduct, all right, the way you move uh, is gonna show. All right, all right, what you teach is gonna show uh, uh, which one uh, you are, man. Okay, somebody of the flesh is doing the things of the world, man. Okay, even men that are uh, that know they Israel, you can see their actions are based off of the flesh, man. Okay, the emotions that they show, okay, versus the, the logic and the truth, man, okay, sticking to the facts through the spirit, man, but it's already set up who's going to receive this understanding and who's not, man, but the ones of the spirit are going to flourish in the spirit and it's going to be shown through what, man, doing what commanded to do, feeding the sheep, man, all right, feeding y'all with shy sheep, so let's read on, it says, for to be carly minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace, man. All right? that And that's what the world, this is a, a, a world f full of death, man. Okay? Why? Because Esau Edom has set this place up, man. Okay? So we are, we are, uh, have escaped out of that carnal mind, was, which was death, man. And we are seeking life in Yahweh Shai, man, which is our only way to salvation. Okay, it says because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High. Okay, and that's what that that's all it is, man. It don't have nothing to do with men. All right, different titles, all this other uh, shit that Jake get caught up on, man. If you carnally mind it, you are an enemy of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, it says for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High, all right? And that's why the Most High is not pleased with two-thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here in America, all right? Which is soon to see, uh, uh, be burned up in a thermonuclear fire, man. Okay? You can't please the Most High, man. Why? Because they are fulfilling the will of the flesh, all right? It's, uh, verse 9, it says, But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. So be that the spirit of Yahweh dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Mashiach, he is none of his. All right. This is all about the sheep. All right. That you hear Yahweh Shah speak about in uh in St. John chapter 10. Okay. The ones that the, uh, the Most High gave unto him that can't be plucked out, of his, plucked out of his hand, man. Okay. The ones that heard his voice. Okay. Those are the... Uh, uh, the men that he has focused on, man. Okay, those are the ones who's pleasing the heavenly Father, man. All right, by constantly spending, sending up those spiritual sacrifices through teaching the, uh, the truth, man. Okay, verse ten it says, and if Mashiach be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness, and that's what we're supposed to be uh, beings of righteousness right now, man. All right, in this dead world, shining as beacons of light, all right, with this word, man, and humbleness and meekness, man, okay? Not as a show uh, to be seen amongst men, but in fear and order uh, 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 under the Heavenly Father and His Son, man, okay? 
So we are in a constant battle in between the flesh and the spirit, man. And the world is uh, is the avenue to try to get you to pull back, uh, uh, get back into that uh, fleshly world, man. Okay, through family, children, your woman, jobs, money, whatever it may be, man. All right, we have to be weary of this, this wicked world that we uh, are dealing in. All right, and move as white, uh, righteous, wise men. All right, so uh, that's it for this lesson. Lord willing, it was edifying. Uh, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.